Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part three of Las Vegas trip. In fact, this is the last video of our vacation trip too. And I'm assuming that you have already watched my previous videos. In case you haven't, please check them out and do like and leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel too. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. In the previous vlog, you have seen how my kids went to the thrill rides in 109th floor. After the rides, we went to have our lunch in the hotel, in the Strat Hotel itself. There was a restaurant, so we went to have our lunch there. And after having a delicious lunch, we went back to our rooms, uh, rested. And in the evening, we got ready to go to another place. So now we are going to a place where we are going to take a helicopter ride. We booked the tickets for the helicopter ride couple of days before and we were super excited from then. This was something which we were looking forward to do in Las Vegas. As I mentioned, Las Vegas is completely lit up with lights and it's so beautiful to watch at night even while you're driving. So we were looking forward to see how it would look in the aerial view. So we are on our way, we went to a place uh, called a 5 star helicopter. We booked the tickets online. Uh, for each person it cost around $100 and they call you uh, and check about the person's uh, weight, age and other details before uh, getting into the helicopter. So you have to give them all the details and then they will tell you the time that you have to go. So we were given around 7pm at night so we went a bit early and uh, 6 persons can get onto this helicopter. So since we were four, there was another couple who also joined us. So my husband and Alekia sat in the front and me and Ananya sat at the back. I was a bit disappointed with this ride, mainly because they didn't allow us to take a photo in front of the helicopter. I don't know why uh, that was not allowed, uh, but they said we are not allowed to stand on the runway or you know beside the helicopter to take a picture. We just had to go straight and sit inside and then we could start using our camera, but before that we were not allowed. So I was really sad about that because you know we all want to keep this as a memory. So video is definitely there but I am a person who always holds on to pictures and I am someone who keeps looking at old pictures all the time. So I would have been really happy if they had allowed uh, us to take a picture but unfortunately that was not done. I'm not sure if it is only this 5 star helicopter rides they didn't allow to take the pictures or if it is the same with other rides uh, or other tours in Las Vegas. Do let me know if any of you have been able to take pictures or if you have seen your friends uh, taking pictures in front of it. Well, not that I can do anything about it, but just to know. So that's the view from the helicopter. It was breathtaking. You can see it by yourself. And it was also so dark inside that we couldn't even take a selfie photo so unfortunately i don't have a better video of this this is how it looked inside that tall tower over there is the strat hotel that we were staying remember in the previous blog i told you that this hotel can be visible from any part of uh, las vegas city and here also you can see that it is the tallest building here 
and coming back to the photo thing uh, well at the reception when you enter the five star helicopter tour office they had a setup where they had a green uh, screen there you can take a photo and later they add the helicopter picture to the background and they give you i mean with an extra cost of course but that looked very artificial in fact if i look at it after many years i would find it really fake the whole ride was for around 10 to 15 minutes only and i think 100 dollars for each person for that is pretty expensive but once you finish that 15 minutes of ride you really feel that the money is worth the ride After landing and since it was our last night here in Las Vegas, we decided to go meet our friends in another hotel. They were with us from Arizona but after coming to Las Vegas, we could not meet because they were staying in another hotel called Luxure and that hotel had the Egyptian theme. So you can see here that it's completely with the Egypt uh, theme and it looked so beautiful inside. So after the tiring night, we went to the hotel, slept and the next day we are all ready to go back to our home in Mexico. Since we had rented the car, we had to give that back. So my husband uh, dropped us in the airport and then he went to give back the uh, car to the agency. And uh, one good thing about uh, Las Vegas was that everything was very accessible from the hotel that we were staying. It was not very far. So we reached uh, the airport way ahead of time because we thought it's better to be early during this COVID time. They didn't ask us for any antigen or uh, PCR test here in the airport. Then we thought maybe they would ask us in the Mexico airport, but they didn't ask us there also. After the long vacation, we were finally going back home and we were equally excited to go back home because we wanted to take rest and we were excited to meet our pet rocky for people who don't know rocky is our pet he is a husky and he's back home waiting for us so we are on our way back to mexico city because if you remember my first video of our travel vlog i told you that our flight was from mexico city so even our uh, flight to go back is to mexico city and from there we will be taking a bus to Querétaro, the place where we live so we reached uh, Mexico City in about three hours. So after reaching Mexico City, we booked the tickets to go to Querétaro. We took it in Primera Plus. This is the bus that we took while going to the airport from Querétaro too. This bus is quite comfortable and it takes uh, 3 hours uh, to reach Querétaro from here. And surprisingly, the bus was completely empty. It was just 4 of us. And I thought it would be like this till we reach Querétaro. But when the bus reached the Terminal 1, there were people from there. And when we reached home, we were happy to see that Rocky was all uh, excited and he was not sad that we had left him. There is a girl who comes home in the morning and in the evening, feeds him and then takes him for a walk. So he is very happy. <laughs> Hello. 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 
so that was the last video of our travel vlog i hope you guys liked it and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next one until then take care bye